Nothing in baseball is quite as exciting as the suicide squeeze. And that's why I feel so frustrated. I grew up playing APA baseball. I still love playing it. Now, as many of you know, I spent a lot of time playing Skeetersoft NP3, which is a derivative of APA. I've been playing with the 1908 season, and of course that means a lot of bunts. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. You've got to bunt a lot in 1908, especially when you consider how little offense there is. It's common to have runners on base with nobody out and yet to see the runners simply not score. When nobody can get a base hit, base runners are at a premium and it suddenly makes sense to bunt. But there's a problem. With a runner on third base, play result 13 in Skeetersoft causes the runner to be out on an attempted steal of home. I don't know how often that might have actually happened in 1908, but I do know that a caught stealing on a failed suicide squeeze is especially rare in modern baseball. So it was Ben Zobris who beat out that suicide squeeze in the clip at the beginning of this video. Now check out his 2016 Skeetsoft card. He's going to have a hard time recreating that drag bunt in real life. Those 13 results all mean that the runner on third is a dead duck. Now, it turns out that this problem comes straight from APA. When J. Richard Seitz put together the Sacrifice booklet back in 1951, he apparently decided that he should punish would-be bunters who had multiple 13s on their cards if they tried to bunt with a runner on at third base. As far as I know, APA was the first game to even include a sacrifice option. And like many other things that he did, it appears that Seitz just made all of this up. Now the crazy thing is that APA is the only game that I know of with a bunting system so tightly tied with the normal hitting results. Stratomatic's advanced game has its own bunt ratings. Replay has completely separate bunt boards. Fall Classic Baseball has a separate bunt module. Fourth Street Sports Baseball also has a separate bunt module. The same is true for Season Ticket Baseball. And now, of course, I don't know how the computer games work, but I do know that it's rare to see a runner caught trying to steal home because the batter missed the bunt. Now in APA it's actually common, especially if the batter is a pitcher. Anyway, so what do you think I should do about this? Should I just swing away anytime a pitcher comes up with a runner on a third base? How would you solve the problem? 